Hello everybody and welcome to my new video series called How To Grand Prix Legends. Uh, this video series is going to be about how to get Grand Prix Legends up and running on a modern, modern PC system and uh, going to be just basically that's it that's how, it's going to be about how to get Grand Prix Legends working how to get it how to find setups how to install add-on tracks how to install mods um, it's going to be a video about how to manage your mods with gem plus two and uh, I'm going to go over a bit of a overview about GPL rank and about the GPL replay analyzer which to me those two kind of go hand in hand and uh, I'll put in a video about some other stuff like GPL Shift, which is a mod that you need if you want to use a gated shifter. Uh, I'll go over briefly about uh, online racing leagues. They are still out there. And uh, so a few other ideas that I have for some later videos as well. So why am I doing this? People have asked for it, actually. They haven't necessarily asked specifically for a video series, but they've asked, how do I get... Grand Prix Legends operating on my computer that's running Windows 7 or that's running Windows Vista so or Windows 8 if you're using that so I wanted to make a video series just because I felt like that would be an easier way to communicate how this can be done easily and it is incredibly simple uh, but how to how this can be done easily on your modern computer the other reason that I'm doing this and to me this is the more important reason it's because Grand Prix Legends is a, a staple in the sim racing community. It's one of these programs that, that has just been around, and it's been around now for over 15 years. It's, in my mind, it's one of the best software packages that has ever been released, and I mean that across the board, including operating systems, including you know all kinds of software, because it is a, a game that has lasted for over 15 years and still has a strong community of users out there that are still using it and they're still creating mods for it and still creating content and I just think that that's fantastic and I know that you know I just called it a game and there are some people out there that try to make the distinction between games versus simul simulators uh, you know they say, you know, how dare you call GPL or iRacing or R Factor? How do you, how dare you call them a game? It's a simulation. I try not to make that distinction too much I, because I, you know, to me it doesn't matter. Uh, but nevertheless, GPL, when it was released, they did try to make it as much of a simulation as they can, but they still released it as a game. It is a, an entertainment package, and for a game to have this kind of staying power is just incredible. And I love this software. I think it's fantastic. I think it's great what people have done with it. And uh, the more people that, that can get into this and, and get into the Grand Prix Legends community and and can rediscover or discover for the first time how amazing this, this program was and is, um, I think it's fantastic. I, th I think it's important. So this first video is going to be simply about how to get Grand Prix Legends installed and get Grand Prix Legends running on your modern computer. Now I'm personally using Windows 7 but these instructions should work fine also for users of Windows Vista or, or Windows XP or God forbid Windows 2000 if you're still using that. If you are I'm very impressed. But um, now and also it should work for Windows 8. I have no experience with Windows 8 myself. I mean, I've used it on other people's computers, but I've never installed it on one of my own computers. And so I can't verify myself whether or not Grand Prix Legends can be made to work on Windows 8. I think it can. I've been told that it can that and that you know, all of these instructions should work just fine for that as well. But again, I have no personal experience with it. So, uh, with that sort of disclaimer, <laughs> Um, the first thing that you're going to need to do is get an original CD, a ri an original copy of the software. Uh, these are still out there. You can still be go out and buy them. They can be found online for under $10. I think I bought mine five or six years ago for about $4.50. Um, so they are still out there. In fact, I think mine, I might have paid more for the shipping than I actually paid for the software itself. Um, I think that you can find downloadable copies, legal legal downloadable copies, but I don't know that for sure, uh, so don't quote me on it. 
Um, but nevertheless, you're going to need an original CD. I have mine actually sitting on a shelf next to me, but I made an image of it onto my hard drive just because I wanted to be able to protect the CD and not have it get damaged in any way. And, and so I just made an image of it, and now it's on my, my hard drive, and I use it whenever I actually need to go back to the CD. The other thing that you're going to need is the installer software from the Grand Prix Legends Preservation Society. Um, and they can be found at gplps.wordpress.com. And the link to this will be in the notes to this video. But uh, the GPLPS has uh, an installer package that will basically it reads the software off of your CD and installs it and then on top of that installs a bunch of updates that will help the software run correctly on a, on a modern system, on a modern operating system and on a modern CPU. Um, and the other thing that it does is it installs a bunch of graphics updates and uh, kind of user interface updates that make it so that the program looks nicer um, runs smoother. It looks so much nicer than the original graphics. The original graphics were crap, and I don't mind saying that because I think everybody knows it's true. Um, even for their time, they were kind of bad, but nevertheless, the updated graphics are really, really nice. The GPL community that has made them is, uh, has, they've just, these people are very creative, and they've just done a very fantastic job. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is take your original CD and put it in your optical drive, a DVD drive or CD drive, and uh, don't run the CD's installer, the native installer. If you have any pop-ups come up that say, you know, you know, do you want to set up the software, or if it comes to the Sierra setup screen, um, whatever it may be, don't use it just cancel out of it, close any windows that might pop up after you install your CD into the into the drive. After that, you're going to need to run the installer package from the GPL Preservation Society. They have two um, installers, two beta installers on their website, 1.04 and 1.07. I've been using 1.04, but only because the previous computer that I had didn't seem to agree with the 1.07 installer. I don't remember exactly what it was that I had trouble with, but there was something buggy about Grand Prix Legends after I got it installed when I used the 1.07 installer. And then when I got my new computer, for whatever reason, I didn't bother to use the 1.07. I just continued to use 1.04. But I would recommend that you at least try the 1.07 first, uh, because if it works for you, it's you know it's going to have better updates to it. It's going to have a couple of bug fixes and things like that. Um, so, anyways, that will once you start that running, it'll walk you through a few options like where to install the software, and uh, there are f you know a few choices to make about which graphics updates that you want to use and, and things like that. Uh, but once you kind of get all of the options sorted out the way that you prefer, um, it will install Grand Prix Legends on your computer for you. It'll put all of those mods on it for you, and when it's done running, that's it. You're done, and Grand Prix Legends is installed. And uh, after that, you should be able to go in and open Grand Prix Legends. You'll have to calibrate your wheel and your pedals or what have you. And uh, and actually, a, a note about that. I've noticed uh, myself, well, one of the mods that, that uh, one of the updates that's on the installer pra package is an update to make it so that you have more axes available more so that you can have more devices plugged in like a wheel and a separate set of pedals and Grand Prix Legends will be able to use all of those things however I've noticed that it doesn't always get it right and the when it doesn't get it right it's usually because you have too many devices plugged in for instance I have a Logitech G25 wheel and I'm using the shifter from it but I have a Fnatic Club Sport V2 set of pedals. Um, and then on top of that, I also have my um, prototype button box that I built for myself. And uh, I, I noticed that when I have my button box in, it doesn't recognize my pedals. But if I unplug my button box, the pedals come back and I, I can use my pedals. Thankfully, in Grand Prix Legends, it doesn't actually matter. I don't need my button box because there's only a handful of inputs available to you in the first place. So 
as long as you can get your pedals and your wheels and your wheel working, you should be fine. You shouldn't need any other extra peripheral devices. So um, just kind of keep that in mind when you're deciding what equipment that you want to use. But you, you know, after you get your wheel calibrated and you get your your driver set up, um, you should be able to go in and use the 1967 Formula One cars on the 1967 Formula One tracks, and uh, and enjoy this fantastic software. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any problems, the easiest place to get any questions answered um, or to to seek, you know. Answer well answers to questions, but also to seek solutions for problems. Um, go to the Sim Racing Mirror Zone. It's S R M Z dot net. Now they have a set of forums there, largely dedicated to Grand Prix Legends, but to some other sim race uh, sim racing programs as well. Um, but they'll definitely be able to answer your questions there, or at least clue you in on where to go for for answers to your questions. And, uh, you know, that's also where you can find a lot of mods. You can find a lot of extra tracks there. Um, I'll do another separate video about the easiest way to install add-on tracks. But nevertheless, if you feel like going out and finding some, a lot of them will be on the Sim Racing Mirror Zone forums. So the other thing that you can do if you have any problems or if you have questions is you can just ask me. Um, leave a comment in the comments area of this video or to any of my other videos and uh, I'll try to address them as best I can. I'm not an expert at this by any means. Um, there are there are people that are way more informed about how to get Grand Prix Legends working. They know the software much better than I do. But nevertheless, I've been using it for years and years, and I know some of the tricks that are out there, and I'll try to answer your questions as best I can. If I can't, what I'll probably do is tell you to go to the Sim Racing Mirror Zone, srmz.net, and uh, and see if you can find an answer there. In, at the very least, I'll see myself if I can find an answer somewhere and, and redirect you to that. So hopefully, you know, if you do have any problems between myself and the Sim Racing Mirror Zone or any of the other Grand Prix Legends community sites, you should be able to find any question, find answers to any questions that you might have. So uh, with that, um, good luck, and uh, I hope you enjoyed Grand Prix Legends as much as I do. Um, it is truly a legend in the sim racing arena, if you can pardon the expression. Um, the uh, next video in this series is going to be about where to find setups for Grand Prix Legends, and I'll give you a brief overview about how to use the setups and uh, you know, kind of how to organize them as well, because it can get confusing when you have setups for the 1965 mod or the 1966 mod or, or even just various setups that you go through for the 1967 series. Um, don't forget also to check out my Let's Play Grand Prix Legends series if you haven't already done so. Um, and to subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified whenever I release new how-to videos or any of my Let's Play videos or any of my iRacing videos. Um, so with that, I will see you next time and thanks for watching.